teaching is an art form. I always knew that, but classroom teaching is a whole nother art form. Dealing with classroom management is, is keen. Once you master that or work to a master that, then you can get your agenda across, then you can keep them engaged, and you can, you know, you see the light bulbs going off. That's nothing, nothing more great, uh, greater joy that I have is when I actually see the light bulbs go off in their, in their heads, and, you know, and they get the concepts, and they're excited about it. So that's been really uh, awe-inspiring because here I have 250 kids that I teach, you know, twice a week, Monday through Thursday, so that's a lot of, a lot of babies, a lot of scholars that I'm uh, a lot of light bulbs going off too. A lot of um, children in New Orleans grow up not being able to read music or write music. They've never had this kind of opportunity before. I, I don't feel like in New Orleans to for kindergartners to have their hands on keyboards and have their very own keyboard. Last year, none of our kids got music instruction in the elementary yeah. school, so grades K through three kind of had to wait. Um, till they got up to fourth grade to when they could start band and now we're actually transitioning the third graders and fourth graders together in band. Um, they're allowed and they spent most of the first semester learning from David. So there's this connection from K and it, there's kind of a path all the way up to how they can eventually um, be just like the kids they look up to in the middle school. Two, ready, clap. Mr. Paltis is really nice and um, he like now we get to play whatever kind of songs we want and um, we get to do, like, if we want to make up a song, we can go on the piano and make up one. Practice the first four measures seven times correctly. I think um, learning the piano obviously requires a lot of discipline and they're learning that, they're learning a lot of patience. They're learning that it's okay to take risks and make mistakes. And those are things that, um, you know, if you can teach kids at a very young age that that's okay and that's expected, then that's ultimately going to pay off down the road and especially in the classroom. The music is just, it's a amazing tool and a medium that, that is out there that, that we minister to, that we, we actually reach and teach and heal people through. And it's not just from playing on stage. You know, there's different levels in which music really soothes the soul. At the basic level of our humanity, we are musical creatures, you know, and all too often, the arts and music is the first thing to go out of a program, you know, and when, when a society begins to ignore that, that becomes the downfall of their society, so to have a movement that is going to revitalize that and show the worth and show us and connect us back to one is, is amazing, you know, so I'm just happy to be a part of this process.